Okay, here we are at the Goodwill Benz. Let's see what I find. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. I found some amazing items. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I appreciate you. We are going to dig through the, the Goodwill Bins. If you don't know what the Goodwill Bins is, it is an outlet store where you pay by weight. And those were pretty cool. Maybe I should have bought those. Um, I could have parted those out like in sets of five or in sets of four or something like that. I think I... I passed on something I should have grabbed. Let me know what you guys think. I think those are those travel games. Did you guys have those as a kid? Um, where you're in the car and you have to, if you see like a truck, then it's like a bingo game. I think that's what it was. All right. Let's see what we can find here today. And let's see what I miss. Again, I welcome everybody to, as you're watching, um, if you timestamp it, it's even better. Let me know in the comments what I missed. All right, that caterpillar, it's a caterpillar. I pick those up all the time. They are a nice little bolo. Um, always, always grab them. That one uh, did not work. So what I did is I took the battery cover off and I'm gonna sell that separately just to try to recoup some of my money. I had a battery cover that I took off of another item. It was um, a Leap. Uh, leapfrog I think it was one of those like ABC things and that battery cover sold in like a week or something it was ridiculous how fast it sold I thought I was gonna sit on that thing for 10 years and it was kind of the same situation I picked it up and I wanted to recoup some of my money so keep that in mind when things like that happen there is money on items that don't work you can sell replacement parts I'm not sure if that was Barbie or what, but it just looked annoying to ship, so I left that one behind. Um, you know, sometimes things just take weird box sizes, the box that you can't find, and you're looking all over your house, and you're moving um, shaping boxes into different shapes, and oh, it's just a pain, so I left that behind. This I did pick up. It's a little, I think it's like a creamer thing. It's a little cow. I thought that was kind of cute. I guess you could put whatever you want in it, but uh, that Hallmark little plush thing, the animated thing, some of those do really well. That one was not in great condition, so I went ahead and left it behind. But definitely be on the lookout for those. Some do better than others. Uh, so if you see them, do look them up. So if you shop at the Goodwill Bins, drop me a comment and look. let me know where you go first. Which section? Do you go to purses and bags? Do you go to... Um, Shoes, hard goods. What's your favorite section? Oh, I did pick up these stickers. Now, these are not vintage. These are not that cool. They are off the thing. This was more of a, I'm just going to try it. So my thought process there on those is people can pull the stickers off and use them for crafting or something like that. I it may be a womp womp. I don't know. We'll see. But I thought I would try it. I did pull them out of the binder. So by weight, it probably cost me 25 cents. They weren't very heavy. But uh, that's something that you can do if you find a binder full of stuff. You can leave the binder behind. And that's going to cut your cost down because you are paying by weight. I do look inside of those binders. Sometimes you'll find like old photos and uh, different things like that. Uh, cards stickers. The little thing I just picked up was a part of the Coda pillar and I found one. So I was like, I have got to keep looking. I might find another one. Now this piece here, um, I don't know why I didn't grab it. I think it was yellowing really bad. It wasn't the right color. So I left that behind, but I have sold those before. I think the one I sold came out of a house though. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. That's another good replacement part. That one still had some numbers and letters in it. I will sell those individually as well as a lot, not like individual letters. I haven't got down to parting it out that much. That would be a little time consuming. All right, so stickers. I always pick up these sticker sheets that are sealed. I have a stack that is ginormous. I just keep picking them up. All right, there's the replacement parts. Because the head didn't work, I am gonna sell the segments or the 
each piece um, as a lot. So we'll lot those up and those should do pretty well. I've done that in the past, I do believe. Of course, it's best to keep it together. Some people actually sell each um, section separately. They will part it out down to um, like the turn or the, you know, the different, the different pieces there. This here, I think, was um, a slide thing. I don't know. Maybe I should have picked that up. That would have probably been something I could have said, hey, how much for this by weight? And they probably would have said five bucks, maybe 10. I'm not sure. They, some of them do it differently. Some it's a flat five. Uh, some of them will weigh it and give you half off. It really just depends on who's checking you out. But those heavy items, they will work with you because you know what? Nobody's going to buy them by pound because it's going to cost way too much money more than it's worth. Those are, I think, magnets. I have a big hoard of magnets. So I buy them every time I go, anytime I see the magnets. And the problem is, is that you have to put them in sets. And kind of like my Legos, I never get around to it. Um, but I will, I will. I'm just building my lot, um, my big old hoard. And then eventually I will be able to go in and make some really nice uh, big sets. Those were a different style though. Uh, some of them had wheels. I think those might do really well. So we'll see. Those magnets are not cheap. Um, actually, somebody at the bins picked up a box of brand new ones and we were looking up what they retail for and they can, they're, they're money. So, all right, we're going to keep looking here. some cups. Was that cups? <laughs> Let me know if you sell cups. I think it was, um, who was it that was selling cups? Somebody was selling cups. Mom Knows Treasures. I think it was Mom Knows Treasures. I think she sold some cups. It was in one of my featured members videos. Uh, go check out Mom Knows Treasures if you haven't checked her out yet. She has a newer YouTube channel, but she is doing awesome. Uh, those, uh, the bag that I dumped back there, that was, I believe it was wallpaper and wallpaper border, which I will pick that up from time to time, depending what is on the, what the print is. That was kind of cool. That little wall hanging probably could have got that by weight too. That's a puppy dog pal. I don't know why I didn't grab that. Um, I think because maybe I have some listed that aren't really moving, but uh, I probably could have put it in a toy lot or something. I want to do more toy lots because my inventory is just out of control. Um, or I'm thinking of doing uh, toy lots over on Whatnot. So you can follow me over there. There is a link down in the description. If you want to click on that, you can join Whatnot and you'll get $10, uh, a $10 credit to shop with that referral link down there. But if you're already on Whatnot, you can also use that link to find me or just type in Bolo Buddies. I'm pretty much Bolo Buddies on everything. Uh, but all my social media and stuff is down there if you guys want to check that out and find me on Instagram and all those other places. Look, look, look. Woo! Lots and lots of hard goods at ours. I love it. Um, lately it has been a little bit, um, the rotations have been a little slow. So, um, if you see me pick something up and I put it in my cart and I do not pop up a screenshot, that means it is getting lotted with something else. I haven't listed it yet or I put it back, but, um, I did find that little, um, grip that was just a weird, unexpected find, not something I would normally pick up, but I'm hoping to sell that and have that be in one of my what solds. I thought that was a pretty cool item. All right. And thankfully it had some information on it. So that helped me look it up because I wasn't real certain what that was. I have been picking these up and I've been doing pretty good. Um, I think that one, uh, I thought that one had already sold, but maybe not. I'll have to go back and look. I know I sold one of them and it went internationally. I did put that crocodile game in my cart because it was vintage. That's my cart, by the way. This guy sold. He sold super fast. I couldn't believe it. He's a Treasure X guy. Um, do you hear the train? Oh, there's a train. 
Sorry, guys. Um, but anyway, the crocodile game, I put that in my cart. I was thinking about parting it out, but decided to just go ahead and leave that behind. Oh, that train's getting loud. I apologize. I'm getting ready to go into um, an appointment. So I'm sitting out in the parking lot and I was like, I'm just going to do my voiceover. I'm going to go early and I'm going to sit in my car because it's kind of raining out and enjoy just like listening to the rain. And now I'm listening to a train. <laughs> oh, go figure. I did get this little guy. I do pick these up. A lot of times they sit for a long time. They're very long tail, but they will sell eventually. This is a Panasonic uh, DVD lot and that sold pretty quickly. And that was a nice little bolo. Any uh, blank media or things like that that are sealed, I definitely pick those up and I do very well with those. They are a little bit heavy, so you know you might have two or three bucks in them depending on the weight. That was just paper. All right. Glasses. I always open up the cases because you never know. Um, I know that some people sell glasses cases. I'm wondering if I should buy like all of the glasses cases and make like a huge bundle and sell them as a reseller lot for somebody who would want to part them out. What do you guys think? I don't know if it would be, they don't weigh very much and I always see them. I'm guessing it's probably the ones that are branded that do better than others. But sometimes I see some nice ones. All right. I've talked to you guys about it before, but anything that is new old stock, I will pick it up. Um, even if it only retails for like um, 10 bucks and if I can sell it for between five and 10, it's so easy to list those barcode items. Uh, so I will get those. I do like it when they are valued higher, of course, but you know, I will pick up the bread and butter. All right, I do grab this right here. This is pretty cool. And I don't think it was ever used. So I do have that listed. It's in the original box. It looks brand new. I did take it out to uh, take photographs. These are Halloween. Um, I have sold these in the past, but the ones I sold were vintage. I went ahead and left those behind. If you think I should have grabbed those, let me know in the comments. I did grab this fabric, this Halloween fabric, and it sold pretty quickly. It was a pretty big chunk, and I feel like I priced it pretty good, and that sold for $12 plus shipping. Um, I do not do free shipping on eBay. I do free shipping on Mercari, and of course, Poshmark has their shipping. So I start my items on eBay, cross post to Mercari and Poshmark with List Perfectly, which is my uh, cross posting service that I use. There's a demonstration or a demo video down in the description if you guys want to check that out. And if you're looking to get your items on other items, uh, I highly recommend List Perfectly. You can uh, use my coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. So I've been using it since 2019. And, you know, just those extra eyes on your items. I have been doing really, really good on Poshmark lately. I don't know what's going on. I know they keep changing the algorithm and they changed it and everybody was really mad and then they recently changed it back. Well, I think whatever they did when they changed it back has been helping me. I don't know why I sat that math thing to the side. It must have been broken or something because I pick those up all the time. I think it's called like magic math or something like that. And I always sell them. I do really well with them. They sell really quick. I don't know why I didn't grab it. So I'm guessing there was something wrong with it. I did throw that in my cart. I've got her sitting at home. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with her yet. Um, might bundle her or I don't know. So here's some more fabric. I did find quite a bit of Halloween fabric. Only one of them has sold so far. So I, it doesn't weigh much. So I felt like it might do okay. But those pieces, the other pieces that I pick up are not as big, but definitely cute. You'll see me pick up some more here. That volleyball said, um, oh, what did it say? I think I show you guys. Uh, it was something about homecoming. It was like somebody uh, inviting somebody to do something. I think it was homecoming. Maybe maybe not. <laughs> I think I show you. But it was like maybe asking somebody out on a date and that's how they did it with a volleyball. It was kind of funny. 
looking at the toys you guys know i like to dig to the bottom of the bins and pull out all of those small toys there's one i grabbed that one it's like a little skunk i'm not sure what it goes to um if i listed it i forgot to pop up the screenshot so i apologize sometimes um it, it's hard to see everything that i grab All right, so where are my people that part out games? Do you only part out vintage games, the older games with the harder to find pieces, or do you also part out modern, um, current to date games? Let me know in the comments. That was another piece of Halloween fabric. Is that another math thing? What am I doing today? Oh my goodness, I left another one. Oh, don't leave those behind, you guys. Those are money. That would have been two of them. Can't believe. Oh my goodness, it's right there. Did I get this one? Oh, I did get it. Oh, yay. So I only missed one. I bet that other one was broke. See, I told you they sell fast. That one sold for $15 plus shipping. How funny is that? I couldn't believe I wasn't grabbing it right away. What was I doing? I tell you, I watch these back as I do the voiceover and I'm like screaming at myself. Uh, VHS, DVDs, I usually leave those behind unless they are sealed. Now, they're bread and butter, most of them. Every once in a while, you can hit a home run with the VHS. Uh, if you find like a, one of like a scary movie or something like that, some of those old vintage ones that um, were low in production and sealed, you can do pretty well on those. In fact, some of them are going for crazy money. But most of the time, it's just going to be bread and butter. Look at this person's cart. Oh, my goodness. All right, I am going to go through these hair things because vintage hair things right here. Bam. I got those listed. Those are not goodie brand, unfortunately. If they are, they are not marked. So I did go ahead and grab those. Um, I'm always looking for markings. Some of them will say made in France. There's a good one. Um, I listed that one, but I couldn't find my listing. So it may still be in the bottom of a bag or it fell out of my bag. I don't know. Um, but I will list it. That one looks like a goodie brand. Uh, I recently just sold some of those that I picked up from an estate and wow, they are just an incredible bolo. Keep on digging. I think I've asked you guys this before. Do you like it when you can hear me digging, like the sound in the background, or do, do you prefer me to take the sound out? Um, the last time I asked, I felt like more people said, take the sound out. So um, that's what I have been doing lately, but would love your feedback. I kind of have mixed feelings about it. I kind of like it both ways, honestly. I don't think I, I really care. I feel like if um, I leave the sound in, then if I pause from talking, there's not like a big silent void. <laughs> like right there. You would have heard me digging. And a lot of times there's uh, people talking in the background at our bins. You know, it's not real quiet. I have been watching uh, Dumpster Diva and she has a really cool way that she does hers. She just talks to you guys while she's at the bins digging. And, you know, I sent her a message and I'm like, do people look at you funny? Because I feel like if I was talking as I was doing it, people would be like, who is she talking to? What is she doing? Because I just hold my phones. I kind of keep it. Um, I Most people probably don't even know I'm recording. I'm just holding the phone and digging. And then I come back and I pop up my screen shares for you guys and I do my voiceover. So my way is definitely takes more time. But her way is just so like entertaining and I love watching her videos. So if you have not seen the Dumpster Diva, definitely go and check her out. We recently did a um, scavenger hunt where we went and looked for 12 items and she had to find the 12 items at her bins and then I found 12 items and it's a collab video. So definitely if you miss that, go check out her uh, video and check out mine as well. I'll try to remember to link those down in the description, but super fun collab right here, Paw Patrol. That is the piece off of the Paw Patrol playset. Always pick those up. They are a winner. This is an Imaginex ball. I do pick those up. They, I mean, they weigh next to nothing. This guy was a little bit on the heavy side, but I think he's going to do pretty good. I got him home 
put some batteries in him, tested him. He did work. I also have a video over on my reseller testing Bolo products of how that works. It's really cool. It like glides. And then um, I had fun playing with it. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do a video on this so I can play with it and make sure it works. I got to make sure it works. And it glides. And then it also pops up and drives. So pretty cool piece. This little guy is a VTech guy. I picked him up as a replacement. There was lots of stuff today. Uh, this I spent, I think, $111. This is a two-part video because the video would have been like an hour and a half long. <laughs> um, that's like a little Fortnite Nerf shooter. I did grab that. I don't know how that'll do. This one actually surprised me. Comps were pretty good on that little pig. So yeah, $111 by the pound. I wonder how many pounds I actually got. I did pick her up also. She is a Shirley Temple doll and they're kind of all over the place. So I've got her up for auction. We'll see what happens. If she doesn't sell, I will put her on a buy it now with best offer. Uh, no clothing, just those little panty shorts. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with her. If you've sold Shirley Temple, let me know down in the comments. How did you do with it? Again, DVDs that are sealed, I will pick them up, especially if they're like uh, children's movies or um, if you can find the DVD sets that are sealed, I do pick those up as well. Digging, digging, digging. I love the bins. I'm actually heading up tomorrow. Um, I'm going to take my friend Erin with me. If you guys missed the video where she sourced a bag of stuff for me, you have definitely got to go and check that out. So much fun. She did really, really good. Um, but she also walked out of there with a cart full herself, which was pretty incredible. All right, there's the screenshot you guys are looking for if you want to go check out that video. Super fun what she found. All right, we're looking at toys, of course. Always look at the bottom. You're going to find dates and you're going to find brands. And that's going to help you determine if you want to pick up that item. Do I comp out every single toy I pick up? Absolutely not. If it's a heavy item, yes, I will. If not, I just throw it in my cart, take it home. Uh, worst case, I will bundle it with other items. If I can't um, list it for more than $5, I'll just bundle it but I still will make a profit because these items are $1.89 a pound and you know, they don't weigh very much, a few ounces, some of them. This guy right here, I can't remember if I actually got that or not. I just sold a broken toy that I got from the bins. I don't know, just something about it caught my eye. I had never seen it before, but I knew it was missing like a foot and a hand. It was kind of a mess. And that thing sold super quick. You will see that in one of my uh, other Goodwill Bins videos. Because I think it sold before I aired the video. So it was just a definite quick sale. So parts and pieces can definitely, um, replacement parts can definitely do well. Again, I use replacement in the title. Sometimes I put parts and pieces. Really just depends on what the item is. But is there money in replacement parts? Most definitely. Is it time consuming and a lot of work if you're parting out a game or like I've parted out connects, I've parted out play sets. Yeah, it's a lot of work. And a lot of times the items are long tail, but um, you will make more money doing it that way. I don't know why I spent so much time on that book. <laughs> These were kind of cool. Maybe I should have grabbed those. I left them behind. They were kind of heavy. Um, I don't know if that was How to Train Your Dragon or some other dragon. All right. This one's a long one, you guys. I don't usually have super long Ben's videos. I usually keep them about 20 to 25 minutes, maybe, maybe more 30 for my Goodwill Ben's. But this one, this one is 44 minutes long. So here's my question. I'm going to take a little poll here. Um, let me know in the comments, what length do you like the Goodwill Bins videos to be? Because I know it's different than like a what sold video because these are more like entertainment plus education. So if you like them to be a little longer, let me know um, 
20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour. Give me that feedback down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys because I've been going and when I go, I have so much footage and I buy so much stuff. Like I walk out of there and my cart is overflowing almost every time. And I usually put it into two, sometimes three videos, depending on how long I record. The last time I went, I ran out of, um, my battery went out. So, uh, when I went back in, I had no battery and they had just pulled out these amazing vintage Christmas items. So I had to go to my car and I had to record my cart. I plugged my phone into my car and I recorded my cart for you guys. So you guys will see that video in the future. Oh my goodness. I got some fantastic stuff. It was so fun, but I had to get that footage for you guys and it worked out, but I would have loved to have been recording in the actual store, but I probably need to get one of those battery packs or something. It seems like when I have more uh, stuff on my phone, like lots of videos, uh, my battery maybe dies sooner, or maybe I was just there for five hours. That could have been it. That could have been the problem. When you guys go to the bins, how long are you there typically? I'm there a long time. It's like, I'm already here. I don't know how many times I try to leave. I'm like, all right, see you guys to my friends that are there. I'm like, I'm taking off. And then um, I see them bringing out a new buggy and I'm like, oh, just one more round. And I end up being there a lot longer. I'm like, I got to get out of here. Maybe I'll go to the thrift store. This is a caboodle. Um, I feel like these used to do better than they're doing right now, but this one was a cool color and I listed that one at $42 and um, I will take a best offer on that. So how I list my items, if you're new here, is I put them on uh, buy it now or best offer. I run sales and I send offers and I also have best offer option on all of my items. So here's my full cart. I'm sure that... Um, I put quite a bit of that back. Um, as you can see, when I'm putting stuff into the little thing, I don't pop up a screen share. So that's a good indicator that it got tossed back. All right, you guys, so far, what's your favorite thing that I've picked up? And do you see something I picked up that you would not have picked up? I love all your comments, so keep them coming, especially on these videos. It cracks me up, the things I miss and the things you guys say, like, oh, no, I'm screaming. You should have got this. You should have got that. I love it when you guys put those in the comments, so keep them coming. Um, if you timestamp it, that's even better because people that read the comments, they can go look, and it's educational. It helps us all learn. All right, we are gonna keep digging. What is this? A little sewing thing maybe? Something to hold sewing items? All right. I'm gonna find something soon. There we go, Peppa the Pig. I do pick up Peppa the Pig. A lot of times just bread and butter, sometimes long tail. I did get this little sponge. I threw that under my sink. I'll use that for cleaning items. It was brand new. I forget what they're called. Now, right here, I picked up a whole bunch of 18-inch doll shoes. They were just all over this bin. And actually, a couple of the ladies beside me uh, knew that I was picking them up, so they started handing them to me. So I had just a hodgepodge. As you can see in that listing, some of them are um, duplicates. Um, not duplicates. They actually have matches and then some of them are singles. So I did sell one of the singles. I sold a single American girl shoe. I think I pop it up here in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. I have heard of people selling single shoes like adult and kids shoes, like just one shoe but this was a doll shoe, so pretty spectacular. And I figured I would be sitting on that thing for years and years to come, and it actually sold pretty quickly. So if you can find those branded items like American Girl, um, usually American Girl is gonna be your best bet. There are as Batat, I think it is, and Our Generation. I do pick those up as well. Those are some more shoes that were in that lot, but I decided to just lot them together with a couple pairs and then the singles but I did do the one American Girl shoe on its own. And 
it had like a, a cherry on it, I think. So it went to a special doll. So I'm guessing somebody had a kid. They had a doll. The doll lost their shoe and they're like, mom, dad, I need the shoe. And then guess what? They looked on eBay and I had the shoe they needed. So <laughs> pretty funny, right? Anything. You can sell anything pretty much on eBay, except for the items that you're not supposed to sell on eBay. And you can check out my do not list these items on eBay. I have a whole series of uh, Vero and policy violation videos, things that are in current time being removed from eBay that my Facebook members have shared. So definitely check out those videos. Throw them on while you work. You can listen to them in the background and get to know what things are being removed right now. Like one thing recently that popped up um, for hazardous materials is bubble lights. And I guess it's vintage and the modern ones as well. They are pulling all bubble lights. So um, it's not, they're just taking it down and giving you a warning. So that's good. But uh, be careful with those. Don't list them. They will get pulled. Uh, that was somebody that just handed me off some toys. I did pick up this little rabbit. It was Department 56. Cute as can be. Figure that might be an item that sells during Easter. Anytime that I have bunny rabbits and stuff like that, I typically, if I have enough room in the title, will put Easter in the title. All right. We're going to keep digging here. I love digging to the bottom. I will tell you that I am a bins digger. I dig to the bottom for those small toys. This is a stife. However, it is a more modern stife, but I was pretty excited when I saw that tag in the ear. Um, I am listing that high simply because I couldn't find any others exactly like it. So, um, do I think I'll get that much? Probably not, but I do have best offer on it. It is super cuddly and snuggly and cute. Um, so there'll be a buyer for it. I just don't know if it'll be at $81, but I will send out offers that any, if anybody, uh, likes that item. And I will also entertain any offers that come in for that item. I also am currently running a buy one, get one 25% off sale. Um, I just created that coupon. And if you guys don't know how to uh, create coupons, I just released, um, probably, it's been a little while ago, but a video on how to create a coupon if you have an eBay store. And I created a coupon for my viewers. It's down in the description. You get 20% off your purchase if you use coupon code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, at checkout. And then I also created a coupon that I send out to people who have purchased from me in the past and people that follow my store. And that coupon, I believe, is bolo coupon maybe i can't remember i'm getting them all mixed up or maybe that one is bolo with olo i have three coupons going on right now but anyway i i will send out messages to uh past buyers and that encourages them to come back into my store and look but that is a code that you set up through ebay that people have to put in at checkout when they buy from you so it's really a cool feature and I haven't used it for a long time. I do have shipping discounts on and stuff like that and volume pricing, but this is totally different. And it's been working out pretty well for me. So definitely uh, think about adding some sort of coupon to your store, coupon code. And I know some of my featured members, I um, have memberships on my channel and I do special bolo videos for uh, with their bolos. And when I do that, I feature their stores. And I know a couple, well, one for sure, no, two of them had a special coupon for viewers of the channel. So um, maybe more of them will start doing that. So you can maybe look for that in the future. Um, just ways to get some deals. Everybody wants a deal, right? All right. I don't know what that was, like a little light up ring or something. Back um, earlier, well, first off, let's talk about this. This is a vintage Wilson leather uh, keychain. I thought that was kind of cool. What is this, and should I have bought it? This here is a Barbie um, Susie Goose, and I got it home, and it was broken. So I took it apart. I took the doors off, and I'm going to sell those doors individually. Somebody is going to crack a door off. It's a vintage item, and I'm going to have what they need probably a long tail again. And, um, 
you know, somebody had made the comment on one of my videos, and if you're watching, don't get discouraged. Um, not everything sells as soon as you list it. In fact, most items do not sell as soon as you list them. It usually has to be something pretty special to get a quick sale. Um, and check your pricing. Check how you're pricing things. Are you offering um, best offer? Are you running sales? But don't be discouraged. Just keep listing. The more you list, the more you sell because obviously you have more items for people to choose from, but it also keeps you more current in the algorithm. But um, I don't want everybody that's watching, maybe that if you're a new reseller, to think that as soon as you list these items, they are going to sell. That is not typical. So um, I... I don't think about what I list. I just list it and I forget it. If you concentrate on, oh my gosh, this item has been listed for 30 days and has not sold, you're gonna stress yourself out and it's not gonna be fun. Just keep listing. All right, you guys are seeing all these magnets. These are magnets that I think you put on your car and they're dog magnets and it says like, I love my whatever dog and they're super cool. Um, there were also keychains. I did put a lot that I popped up on Poshmark and um, I think there was 50 or 100 in the lot, but I have tons of these. I am, I think, going to bring these over to Whatnot and do small bundles, or maybe if somebody wants a specific dog, I, I don't know. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with them, but they are so cool, and I could not pass them up, so um, I, I just had to grab them all, and I don't even have footage of all of them. My tote was stuffed full. I'm going to say, I don't know how many pounds. It was a lot of pounds. They did work with me on price because I was buying so many of them. And um, I can't remember what I ended up paying for all of them, but it was a really good deal. And I saved it from the landfill and they're really new old stock, cool items. And I could part them out, but I just don't have the time to do that right now. I did see some that were listed individually on Poshmark. Um, but I just, again, I don't, I don't really um, enjoy that type of thing, that style of listing. I like more new old stock items and um, items that are vintage and hard to find and fun stuff like this right here, these plastic horse blow mold um, lights. That's the stuff I like. But I am going to grab the magnets because I don't want to leave them in, in the bins to go to the landfill. They're, they're incredible. And I know that people love um, items that look like they're dogs and stuff like that. I can't remember if I threw that back or not. I haven't listed it, so I'm guessing I threw it back. But I was thinking maybe like a little dollhouse thing. This sold really quick. It's a little Mega Bloks um, builder, first builders. Here's a Batman Lego Duplo. I do pick up the cars and the vehicles, anything like that that are building toys um, if they're uh, Duplos so and Mega Bloks. And of course, you will see me digging for all of the small, um, what do you call them? The little small Legos. I will pick those out of the bins no matter what they are. I just make a pile. Uh, so many times I buy Lego sets and they are missing pieces. And that is where you're going to find your missing pieces in a big Lego tote that you have at home from Legos you've dug out of the bins. <laughs> Look at that little cutie pie. So many items. It is so hard for me to not just grab everything. I don't know. I think those were boxes. Maybe I should have got those. Maybe they would have been good packing supplies. I do. Um, I just threw that in my tote. Did you see it? I just tossed it. Um, I think that was a bag of hair things. I don't think I ended up getting it. So I probably looked through it um, more and decided not to get it based on what was in there. That little mermaid cup, would you guys have picked that up? Thanks for hanging with me. If you're still here, let me know in the comments. I am still here because we are 38 minutes in. And again, this is a longer video for me. So um, let me know if you're hanging out still and what you think. If you think I'm finding good stuff. And there is a part two of this video. Those were kind of cute. I think those are little uh, crafters items that people stuff. Grabbing more magnets. You guys, I turned off my phone for a while. If I would have kept all the footage of me grabbing magnets, it would have been probably 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> I grabbed so many. And like I said, people were just handing them to me in piles. These are cool. I love my whatever kind of dog that is. Um, 
and, and there were so much like so many different types of dogs it wasn't like they were all the same it was incredible such a, a great variety not um i said key change luggage tags that's what i meant so just grabbing them out grabbing them all okay that's where i cut it off i'm like all right they do not want to watch all of all of me grabbing these magnets however it probably would have been pretty funny watching me uh just keep grabbing them okay creative memories new old stock definitely a pickup i love creative memories been doing really fantastic with it always pick those up at garage sales they i seem to find them a lot at garage sales and here is a uh, set of trains and track and i listed the track i've got the trains somewhere i'll probably put them in a little bundle but um thought i would give the track a, a good try there and we'll see if somebody wants to buy that track from me all right what's in here i'm always intrigued by the bags full of stuff sometimes like there was a bag full of legos and duplos i grabbed that one day and i do have a little video of that at first i saw this and i thought it was going to be one of those little boyd's bears sweatshirt bears i got excited for a second but it was not unfortunately but i still listed it it is a mini bear with a little sweater it's just a christmas ornament but very very cute item this I picked up, uh, Grumbacher, I think is how you pronounce it, is definitely a bolo. These are not in great condition, unfortunately, but I just had to take a chance. Um, I squeezed the tubes. They weren't super soft, but I think that um, there's something you can put in paint to bring it back to life. So I did go ahead and grab it. I've just put it all together. I don't know if it'll ever sell, but if you find Grumbacher brand, definitely look it up, especially some of the vintage paints. Some of them can go for big money, discontinued colors, stuff like that. Um, mine, I don't know how it's going to do. I was hoping it was going to be something special in there, but I did not look it all up while I was there. So took it home and decided I was just going to put it in one bundle lot. All right. There was a horse there. I usually check the horses. Um, some of them I know right away, like this is one I want if it's a briar. I think that's just a wrapping paper i mean there's so many items that people um could get for personal use tell me in the comments do you buy stuff for yourself when you're at the at the bins or are you a reseller because i'm sure there's people watching right now that you're not a reseller you just go to the bins and buy for yourself and maybe you like watching these types of videos so let me know in the comments are you a reseller do you source at the bins? I did look that up and I decided to put it back. I don't remember why. Um, I don't know if it was dirty or damaged or just the comps weren't very great, but I did put that back. What is that? Um, I, I need to do, um, like if I see paper and stuff like that for packaging, I need to buy more of that. Maybe they can, uh, if it's a heavy item, they'll give me a good deal on it. I did grab a roll of Ikea drawing paper once, and I think I paid the $1.89 a pound for it, but I am going to crinkle it up and use it as packaging paper for when I have breakables and stuff, in addition to bubble wrap, of course. All right. I always look in the pencil cases. You never know. You might find a gem. Vintage pencils can do pretty good. I don't know what was in my hand there. But I pulled something out of there. I can't remember. Maybe on the big screen, you guys will be able to see what it is. I'm holding on to it. It's in my hand. I lost my cart or my tote or whatever I have. All right. I'm not doing a very good job of getting down to the bottom. I need to really be digging to the bottom. That's where you find those small, amazing toys. All right, we are about finished here. I just want to thank you all so much for being here and thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share and answer some of those uh, questions that I asked during the video. And there was my total.